Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with another episode of Tales of Vesperia. Alrighty, when we left off, we had just snuck into this uh, little town here of mages, and uh, so far, so good. No one's uh, caught on to the fact that we're not supposed to be here. But, uh... Beyond that, uh, we've gotten a couple little upgrades for equipment, and that's about it. So now we're going to move on and see if we can find the guy we're looking for. Not through there, obviously, because that's locked, which I should have remembered. <laughs> but it's been a while since I had played, so I forgot that little bit of info. But down here, this is new, and weirdly colored on the door it's like the lamp is supposed to be flickering but it creates like an almost green light on it so it doesn't look right that's weird keep out seriously mordio well i mean i guess this is the place it's gotta be I think people usually try knocking first. Looks like no one's home. What should we do? I think I understand what she was mentioning. He, he tried the door before he knocked. So, yeah, that's a little weird. I'm not gonna lie. That's a little weird. Oh, uh, well, I mean, at the same time, this guy has stolen stuff from uh, uh, a city, including a bunch of Blastia, possibly. So, uh, yeah, fuck manners <laughs> that particular instance but uh. no point in hesitating when you're heading into a den of thieves oh no i don't want us to commit any more crimes oh come on i guess that means it's my turn then what your turn it's her turn to <laughs> it's her turn to start complaining about all the crimes and now it's his turn to start engaging in more crimes. I see what we're going with, okay. We shouldn't do that either. <laughs> it's what got us in here, Estelle. Nothing to it. Wait for me. <laughs> Please, wait. <sighs> Why does he always do that? Because we want shit done and we want it done now. <laughs> Your way is too slow. This is crazy! Who could live in a place like this? I'm looking around at my apartment and feeling personally attacked right now. <laughs> That's... Sh shut up, Carol. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up! <laughs> You can pretty Stop much live head. anywhere you can eat and sleep if you set your mind to it. Hey, Yuri, my boy, my man, my guy, my dude. <laughs> Yuri, don't you have something to say first? What? Uh, hello? hello? Oh, yeah. We're yeah. coming in. That makes sense. <laughs> and the door? Carol here, open your door. Sorry about that. Honestly, Yuri, Wait, throw him under the excuse bus. us, is anyone home? <laughs> Estelle, we're already like 12 feet, if not more, into the uh, fucking abode. <laughs> I gotta quit swearing in the <laughs> early parts of the episode. God. Ah. We're already 12 feet into the abode. The best we can hope for is that he doesn't immediately attack us <laughs> because the abode was locked. So why bother with pleasantries? We are already committing criminal acts. Relax. It's a good thing no one's here. That means we get to look for evidence. Yeah, that's true. That's always a thing we could be doing. What the what? Well, didn't mean to find it immediately. 
a hoe. I'm assuming him. <laughs> just, <laughs> just sitting in the mound of books. Either asleep or just hiding. Oh, shut up. That wasn't the voice I expected. Huh? Hey, hold on! What are you holding on to? Thieves? No, what are you? Wait! Be gone! Help! <coughs> uh, why me? <laughs> so, apparently whatever that was, wasn't very strong. A girl? Okay. That explains that. If you can pull tricks like that, why'd you bother skipping town back in Zafius? Huh? Skipping town? Why would I need to skip town? You don't deny that you did it. For stealing the core of Ablastia from the lower quarter in the capital. What else? What? You're calling me a thief. Have you ever heard of common sense? Sure. So you break into a home, call the owner a thief, and wave a sword in their face. What the hell kind of sense is that? I mean... All evidence has been pointing to you since this whole thing started. So if you have a way to help us, now's the time to help us. Hey, dog! You stay back, you... you dog! Yeah. Thrilling. <laughs> Thrilling dialogue here. You, you dog. She, she's clearly trying to be more intimidating than she actually is. And you, kid. Give him back. Give him back? What do you mean? The Blastia. The Blastia. Give him back to me. Give him? What's with you? That's My name question. is Esteliz. We're terribly sorry for barging in on you like this. Yuri, Carol, you too. No. Sorry. That yeah, Carol couldn't do it. I'm not going to do it. So, what do you want? <laughs> well, you see... <laughs> I was right. Yuri ain't going to do it. Yuri has followed a Blastia thief here all the way from the Imperial capital. And? And that Blastia thief wore a cape, was short, and their name was Mordio. So... Hmm. Well, Mordio is certainly my name. Rita Mordio, to be exact. Rita Mordio, okay. And the height matches up, too! What do you have to say for yourself? I told you, I have no idea what you're... Oh, I hadn't thought of that. Oh, so she talks to herself. Okay. Follow me. What? Uh, maybe you didn't hear me. We're not finished here. Uh, I don't think that she assumes we are finished here. I think she's going to finish it Just for follow us. me, would you? There's talk that some thieves have turned up in the Shikos ruins. Mm -hmm. Thieves? Are you sure about that? It came from an Imperial Knight who asked me for help. It should be trustworthy. Imperial Knight. Do you knight. think that knight might have been Flynn? It's gotta be. Looks like she shot him down, though. Hey, remember what that guy outside said about someone vandalizing the ruins? Which means the thief who stole the Blastia core could be there. And isn't Mordio? Hmm, maybe. Hmm. Oh! Finished chatting? Let's go. Alright, that is a outfit. I'm assuming... All right, but don't, don't even think assuming. of making a break Luigi? for it. You don't have to come. If you want, I'll just call the guards. Okay. Why don't we give it a try? It sounds like Flynn might even be there. Yeah. It's up to you. Go to jail, make a run for it, or follow me. Pick one. Oh, all so enticing. Although, to be fair, the following one isn't entirely 
bad. All right. Okay, okay. We'll go with you. Alrighty. The Shikos ruins are even further to the east once you leave the city. Okay. Alrighty. A new page has been added to the battle book. Rita joined the party. Rita's a little scary, huh? Really? She's about what I'd expect. Seems like she's in a crappy mood, too. That's because you broke into her house, Yuri. I don't exactly I mean, feel like being on my best behavior when I'm dealing with a core thief. What will you do if you're wrong about her? If I'm wrong, I'll apologize. You'd better remember that when the time comes. Oh, were you listening? I just happened to overhear. So you think I'm scary, do you? <clears throat> Watch it, Carol. She's definitely the kind to hold a grudge. <laughs> hey! <laughs> don't scare me like that! <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, oh, man. <laughs> Y'all had mentioned that the... Uh... Y'all had mentioned that the bits were... The little skits were really fun and uh, gave us a little bit more about the characters. Uh, I'm really loving those little skits so far. It is pretty nice. With what? Oh, okay. Check this out. This it's a Blastia model. Did you make it? What's with the 20 questions? Hey, get your dirty hands off that. This thing's really intricate. It's a model of a grand Blastia. It's not working, though. Of course it isn't. It's a model. Grand Blastia? Grand Blastia refers to especially large types of Blastia, including but not limited to Barrier Blastia. Your name is Estelise, right? Yes, but that's kind of long to say easily. Please call me Estelle. You look like some fancy noble Estelise. Why are you with that jerk? Oh, <clears throat> I think that Yuri is a good person. And really, I don't mind if you call me Estelle. All right, Estelise. She's tough. Mm-hmm. She is tough. She is set in her ways as well. I kind of want to explore the rest of the apart apartment. Uh, rest of the house. That's a Blastia formula. That's a messy handwriting. As long as you can read it, that's all that matters. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? Are you starting to warm up to her now, Yuri? You know, they say that people with bad... Bad... <laughs> Let's try that again. You know, they say that people with bad handwriting have good hearts. What's that supposed to mean? N nothing, really. Oh, uh... This is a formula that uses fire, right? Hmm. Seems like you know your stuff. Well, yeah, she keeps her head in books enough. One would think she would know. What? We're looking at here. And now Yuri's reading. Okay. You must be quite the ardent scholar. Nah, not at all. Just because someone studies hard, that doesn't mean that their actions are right or just. Okay, Yuri. Okay, alright. Can we can we get off the accusatory train yet? Please. Go ahead and say what you want. It's not like I care. Hey, the cover's about to fall off this one. Then don't touch it, idiot. <laughs> Jesus. Wait a minute. She has a... Is she mining into the wall that she has here? In her off time? Good. All right. Whew. Excuse me. Got a little burpee there. I guess we head out. Um, heading out of the city. So I guess we're supposed to... Why did my Xbox One turn on? <laughs> okay, well. We're getting weird stuff happening. Okay, well. Let's go down this way. Actually, you know what? Before I forget to... It'd be nice if buttons worked. Okay, there we go. 
Um, let's check out the equipment of Rita real quick. Uh, just because I want to check it. It has a main weapon called a sash. Huh. Was that mildly correct in assuming Kunoichi? <laughs> Some weird sort of ninja shenanigans. Made of fiber with high air conductivity. It can be stretched by controlling the air pressure. Burning Blood. A collection of research on spontaneous human combustion. Only a few know the hidden truth. Okay. Bronze circlet. A circlet made of bronze. It's cheap, but helps to increase concentration. Okay. A simple garment made of cloth. It is more sturdy than regular clothing. Okay, I'll take your word for that. Hmm. I guess we'll swap out Repeat for Rita. So that way, if we get into combat, I can see what her abilities are like. Um, it's really all I want to do currently with that. Check skills she has. Magic guard with her weapon. Magic... Spirits. Rhythm. Okay, so she's more of a mage type. Okay, not Kunoichi like I kept wanting to believe. Her outfit. I don't know. It screamed Nar Naruto fucking ninja to me. I don't know. I don't know, okay? I don't understand how my own brain works half the time. So That was where I, my brain went. Ooh! Didn't expect to pick something up like that. I'll take it. Perfectly fine with that. Oh, about to sneeze. That was a strong sneeze. Okay. All right. Ooh, all right. And we're good. Okay, now we're out of the city. And... We're heading out. Repeat's getting really good at handling items, don't you think? Yeah, but I don't want to eat any gels that have been in a dog's mouth. He said, come on, don't be like that. If things go bad, take it. That's one big mouth he's... Wait a minute. Did he really say that? All I heard him do was bark. Stick around long enough and you'll figure him out. Right, Repeat? <laughs> You look a little jealous, Rita. <laughs> no way. <laughs> she might actually be a little jealous. Oh, that's funny. Oh, is that the ruins there? Well, I mean, definitely looks like ruins, all right. Don't look like any structure that's still being in use by humans. Okay. These are the Shikos ruins. Okay. Looks like a treasure chest in the background there. It looks like there aren't any Imperial Knights around. At least not right now. footprints are still fresh. There's a lot of them, too. Which means it's either the knights, the thieves, or both. Yeah, poor Ken and Lestos. Some of these footprints must be Flynn's. Could be. Yeah, could be. Hey, over here. Hurry up. Okay. I see. So first you get us alone in the dark, then you zap us, huh? <laughs> Come on, Yuri. Hmm. Can we get off the accusation Zap. train yet? I like the way that sounds. Zap. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? Mm. Why are you smiling like that? Because <laughs> she's considering it. 
Let's try to get along now, okay? Yeah, let's try to get along. Alright, there's a little path this way. I thought I could get into that, but I can't. Ooh! Ow! All items you cannot carry will be lost. Alright. Alright. Alrighty. Well, at least now I know that I'm full up on that and that I should use more of them. 800 gold, okay. Fair enough. Nothing over there I can see. Can't get in there. Alright. Time to explore the ruins. Loot what I can. Okay, that's what I do best. Nope, can't get into there. Okay, this is the exit. So this part's done. This funnel's complete. Up this way. Life bottle, okay. Cool. And nothing here. Okay. This funnel's complete. Looks like no one's here. No Imperial Knights, thieves, or anyone else. Yes, Maybe so far. they're further in? How far in are we talking here? Yeah, it's possible. It doesn't look like anyone's been here, does it? The information about the underground couldn't have gotten out, could it? The underground? Welp. Recently, an entrance to an underground area was uncovered here. A handful of mages are supposed to be the only people who know about it. Really? But it's okay for us to know this? I don't have much choice if I'm to clear my name, do I? That's a fair point. Clear your name, huh? Yeah, she's actually trying, Yuri, so lighten up a little bit. Huh? Give her the benefit of the doubt, the ground maybe? is scratched here. Mm -hmm. It's not like I would have minded letting the thieves have the ruins above ground after we finished the excavation. But it's a good thing we came here when we did. Well then, we'd better hurry up and follow them. All we have to do is move this? <clears throat> what are you doing, Matt? <laughs> Come on, you have to put your shoulder into it. Um, right. Right. <clears throat> huh? Well... Come on, just a little more. Alrighty. Looks like we did it. Carol, are you okay? <laughs> sure, yeah, that was a cinch. <laughs> liar. <sighs> okay, here we go. Alright, well, there's the path. The critical path, so now we complete all the other funnels I ignored. Um, which I guess is only this way. Cross over here to go this way. No, we can't. No, we can't. Fuck. Alright, so I guess the only way we can go is up. Go the right way, damn it. Half guard. Iron plate armor joined together with leather. Excellent shock absorber and very sturdy. Do I already have that on Stell? Why do I keep doing that? I meant to do equipment. Half guard is stronger than what she currently has with the iron guard. Okay. That's good. Now I actually got an upgrade. Um, doesn't look like anyone else needs, or rather can use that. So that means that is useless for now as an upgrade. Unless someone comes into the party who can. Which I'm honestly thinking that very few pieces of equipment will overlap with each other. Or rather, overlap with uh, people who can use it. But I guess we'll find out. This is my first time going inside ruins. Well... I think it would be everyone's first time. Be careful over there, it's slippery. What do 
you looking at? Just I was just surprised. You your name. You're actually a nice person. <laughs> Come on, Yuri. Give her the I benefit knew it would be a doubt. pain to bring you along. Yeah, yeah, it would. We're kind of an asshole like that, me and Yuri. I should have just come or by at least myself. I'm trying to be better than Yuri is. Well, I mean. Do you always come to research these ruins alone? Yeah. Aren't you afraid you'll get hurt by monsters or traps? There are always risks if you're trying to actually do something. If someone gets hurt, it's an acceptable loss. Wow. Rather practical. Even if you're the one things? who gets hurt? Yeah. Maybe Don't you ever worry or hesitate? Worrying about getting what you want without anyone getting hurt? You've had a pretty easy life. Damn, the shade. <laughs> the shade. God damn. All right. An easy life. I mean, true. And Blastia will never betray me, so they're easy to deal with. Oh. Oh, there's some baggage there. There's some baggage in that statement there. Hmm. Rita's amazing. She just comes right out and says what she has to say. <laughs> yeah, no matter if it hurts someone's feelings or not. She knows exactly what's important to her. Yeah. I wish I knew what was important to me. Well, once you, once you get a hold on that, let me know. Just travel around for a while. You'll figure it out. Usually. Usually how it works. These ruins feel very different once you're inside them. Yeah, it's weird. And there's all this stuff I've never seen before. What, is this your first time too, Carol? Well, yeah. My specialty's monster hunting. Hey, what do you think this is? You really shouldn't be fooling around over there. This place is loaded with traps. Did anyone else just hear a click? Carol, watch out! Ah! Sorry, I thought you were about to get killed. I overdid it. I think I would have been better off getting caught in the trap. <laughs> I don't know about that, but hey, at least... <laughs> at least it worked out. <laughs> and all of that was just based off of Estelle hearing a click. Like a trap was set off. Okay, that was funny. All right, well, time to see how Let's she does in together. combat. Holy power, come to me! Oh, dear, oh, this is his hand. hand. Okay. Holy power, oh, she has a stone blast. Oh, dear, this is his hand. Stone blast. As you're rich. Holy power. Okay. So far, so good. Ow. Oh, flickering blaze, burn. As you're rich. You're not going to keep doing that. Oh, dear, oh, this is land. Drag it over. Put out your hand. Like this? Yay! What, what was that? <laughs> I still just made fucking Rita do a high five and Rita doesn't know how to react. <laughs> Oh, fuck. <laughs> Alright, hey. That wasn't so bad. <laughs> okay. I got salmon? I got salmon out of that? Okay. That was weird. Alright, that's done. Um. So I definitely need healing. Might as well use the apple gels since apparently we have a limit of 15 on items all right um scimitar that was what i had uh may let me look at equipment maybe the mace nope mace can only be used by estelle sash can only be used by rita Swords can also be used by Estelle, but the mace can't be moved around to anyone else. Okay. Fair enough. Huh. Alright. Um, let's do some cooking. Character. Can we... 
make do cooking. I guess we could do Yuri. Um, sandwich and Salisbury steak. Salisbury steak would be pretty good. It would save on the bread that we have. Okay. Yeah, let's do that. Cook. Really? I failed? Yes, damn it. Party's full. <laughs> damn it. So the failure stands. Oh, man. Damn it. Wait, I can do cooking shortcuts? What? What? Um... I don't understand that being a shortcut thing, but alright. But... It's a shame that it was a failure for the uh, ooh, leather boots. Sh uh, sh failure for the Salisbury steak, but eh, it is what it is. Uh, accessory leather boots. Oh, that ain't too bad. Uh, let's see, I already have that on. Sure, why not? Let's prioritize Rita a little bit when it comes to that. Standard accessory for rookies. We'll take the... We'll take that and put it on Carol since repeats. Uh, gonna be off the party for a little bit. Oh, hello! What the fuck are you? Leave it to me! The fuck are you? Yo, stop! Stars are on the show! Oh, damn it, this mod is burning! Oh, oh, no way! Oh, flickering blaze, burn! Oh, ow, fireball! Ow, Thank you for First helping with the fireball. Me. First aid! Okay, come on. Stop moving! It'll be a hundred years before you can beat me. Because you've lived a lot longer, right? Not exactly. Not exactly. We got a mackerel? Are we gonna get fish recipes? Pog! Alright. Whoops. Looks like this Didn't little one is no good. Ball. Wow. So this is what Blastia look like before they're excavated. I wonder why ancient people buried Blastia in ruins like this in the first place. I wish I could tell you. That's something else being researched. With all these Blastia here, I don't suppose there are any Aqua Blastia lying around, too. None of them have cores in them. Really? Yeah. Then they don't work, do they? Blastia aren't excavated with the cores and the bodies together. Oh. Cores produce magic through formulas. Bodies control that magic. The two combined are referred to as Blastia. Each Blastia possesses different attributes, and is marked by a crest that indicates those attributes. With current technology, Blastia bodies can be manufactured, but the production of Blastia cores is impossible. Hmm. So basically, cores are very valuable since they have to be excavated. It's only natural that thieves would want to steal them. Yeah. That's not quite true. Hmm. It seems Estelisa's information is a little outdated. Oh, is it? What's outdated about it? There's some degradation of quality, but there's been some success in the synthesis of simple Blastia cores. Really? Hmm. Interesting. That's why I wouldn't do anything stupid, like go stealing people's cores. If I had time to waste doing things like that, I'd rather be spending it researching better ways to completely restore incomplete or degraded cores. And that is completely understandable. That's what being a mage is all about. A noble creed? But that doesn't clear your name. Not yet. Yes, talk is cheap, I suppose. Is she blushing? Is she blushing right now? Did, did she, like, show off for all of that and then realize how embarrass <laughs> embarrassingly cringy kind of was? <laughs> I don't personally think that. I think she was onto something, but uh, she might have an, an, <laughs> she might have thought that it was, which is usually how cringe works. Uh, you you eventually cringe on your own past shenanigans. Okay, moving on. 
Perhaps there are still some Blastia left that can be used. Maybe. It's possible. But now that I realize there is... Oh, no other reason. There is no other paths I can really take. So I guess critical path is what I'm left with. Aha. Let's check this again. Old-fashioned Blastia without a core. It looks looking... Looks nothing... Nothing like the original design. I swear I can talk. Really, I can't. Ugh. It's my... I... I have an energy drink in hand, and apparently it isn't hitting quite as enough yet. Ugh. Alright. Onward we go. This one's still got a core in it. Yeah. Just Here, inactive. Try shooting this at the core. Shooting what? This ring set with something that looks just like a Blastia core. Mm -hmm. Glyph crystallization of a formula allows this Blastia to emit air as needed. That's not quite the best way to put it. Oh? It's actually used to charge other Blastia with air. Mm. The weight. How did you know that? In the castle, I read that the ring acts as a kind of key in ancient ruins. Castle? So all I do is point? Yeah, she kind of just let on that she's a noble. Just aim the sorcerer's ring at the core of that Blastia. Sorcerer's Face ring. Face your target and shoot. There's a limit to its range, though. Go on, try it. Press X to shoot with the sorcerer's ring. That's all it takes. I see. That's a strim crest. It's a mark that indicates movement. Huh. Interesting. Oh. oh, that's not good. Hey, what's that? Probably a boss. A sentinel for taking care of unwanted guests. You didn't think to let us know that before we turned on the fucking blast you? Okay then, keep your eyes open and let's keep moving. Are you sure? What if I'm just luring you deeper into the ruins so I can zap you? You're not going to let that go, are you? I'm starting to think I'd rather try my luck with the golem. <laughs> Here, you take it. Isn't this thing important or something? We'll need to use it a few more times. Okay, I guess I'd better hold it since I'm leading the way. Fair enough. I'm holding on to the sorcerer's ring. Oh, that is kind of pretty. Mysterious ring that can shoot air, capable of distributing air to... Targets. Distributing air to targets? I wonder if people a long time ago used little rings like this to move things around. Yes, items like this have been discovered in other ruins as well. Mm. It sure is useful for something so small. Yeah, unlike some people I could name. Ooh. Huh? It's impressive that you've been entrusted with a sorcerer's ring, Rita. I've heard they're only given to a very small number of people. <laughs> Guess someone trusts you. You're the only one who doesn't. <laughs> All right. Shit. Oh, there's two of them. Okay, well. Leave it to me. Let's see how. Oh, great. There's two of them Azure, in the combat, Azure. too. Azure. Uh. Azure. Of this modest Azure. This? Nah, this isn't scary. Your legs are shaking. You're kidding. Yeah, I am. Alright, uh, got some off for damage taken, but I finished it in 20 seconds or less. Okay, I'll take that. Blastium Ore. Huh. Blastium Ore, you say? Like that? No, it's not a path. Oh, great. So I get both Sorry of them. if I hurt you. Fuck. Alright, well. It's time to do some shenanigans. There we go. There we go. That didn't work. That didn't... That worked out pretty good. That didn't work out too bad. English. Hard. 
Such a dweeb. <laughs> Such a fucking dweeb. Uh, Batwing, Blastium, or Magic Lens. Magic Lens that I don't need. Hey, oh. didn't you say something about the castle not too long ago? Mm. Oh? Yes, well, you see... Yeah, I was in the castle a while back. I used to be a knight. You? A knight? Please, how gullible do you think I am? Believe but, it or not, but it's, it's true. true. Though. Will wonders never cease? Is it really so hard for everyone to believe that? <laughs> Come on, let's go. Hey, they You're changed so the insulted. subject on me. Yeah, we did. <laughs> we did it on purpose, even. Up the what? It looks like they've messed up our order. Let's take them down. Oh. Cowards. A surprise encounter. <laughs> That's new. A flickering blaze burn! Fireball! A flickering blaze burn! Fireball! First aid! Holy power, come to me! First aid! A flickering blaze burn! Fireball! There we go. Think you can beat us with an ambush? Monsters don't think. Uh, so? I mean, we could still taunt them about it. Come on. Let me have something, damn it. Alright. Nectar bottle, more salmon. I feel power running all through my body. Damn right. That was scary. I didn't expect to be ambushed from behind like that. Neither did I. Well, I guess we just can't ever let our guard down where there are monsters about. If they attack from the rear, any of us could get pulled into battle. Right. Let's be careful and hope that doesn't happen again. Yeah. Hmm. This only happens with a preemptive attack. Your party's order will be reshuffled when an enemy approaches from behind. Preemptive attacks, huh? What? Oh, for you guys, It's back! <laughs> Hit it with what I gave you just now! Huh? You mean with this? Do it now! I just did it. Ow. Guess we can do this. Advantage encounter. So, I might as well use them since I have too many of them. Murfish. That's what they are. Um, they resist water, obviously, but they're weak to fire and air, I'm assuming that is. Okay, it's an aquatic type. Well, then Rita's attacks are pretty good. Oh, All right, who's next? We'll strike! It'll be a hundred years before you can beat me. There because you've lived a lot longer, right? Not exactly. Yeah, we tried. All right, so I get it now, now we get so that. that's how it works. I didn't know it could be used like that, too. Neither did I. Right, let's get a move on. Fire a shot of air with the sorcerer's ring at an enemy to temporarily stun them. The enemies will be stunned for a short time at the start of the battle upon entering a battle in this state. Hmm. So I can get ambushed. That's something that can happen. And it will also goof with uh, the party makeup. But at the same time, it will... I can... Rather, it will. I can deal with uh, it by shooting a bit of air at the person who's going to ambush us. Just realized there is a path down there and I want to fix it. Man, could you be any weaker? Don't get cocky! You want revenge? Bring it! This little spinning of the sword is kind of cool to me, because I do the same thing. <laughs> I just keep getting stronger! Nice for you, Carol. Ow! Oh. Even party members outside of combat can level up. Interesting. That is info 
That is good to know. Also, this is a guy. Hmm. If that ceiling collapsed, we'd be buried alive. Mm -hmm. What are you saying stuff like that for, Estelle? What if that really happened? Come on, don't be such a wimp. These ruins are made of stronger stuff than that. Ah! Estelle! Now the ceiling's gonna collapse because you were talking about it! Huh? No, oh, sorry, I just stubbed my toe on a rock. <laughs> you did that on purpose, didn't you? Damn right you're, I did. You're mean. Come on! <laughs> let's hurry and finish up what we're doing so we can get out of these ruins. Oh, fuck. Yuri's a man after my own heart. Can I aim myself in a direction that'll actually... Come on. I just want to... Hit it! Yes, damn it. <laughs> well, it didn't work there. It. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's all fine. Actually, now I think about it, I want to know what this guy's shtick is. He's okay. He's weak to fire. Resistance to water. Okay. And he's actually pretty strong in the health department. And again, I think the other one was pretty strong, too. Okay. That answers that question for me. There we go. There we go. I love Put out your hand. Like this? Yay! What was that? It's a high five. It's not that. It's not that unique a thing. Amber cloak. A researcher's garment. It's, it's obviously not meant for combat. Ah, uh, well, then that... Pro I keep doing that. I'm meant to go through equipment. It's probably weaker in the... No, it's stronger in the physical defense department. So... Why that description? Oh. Whatever. Give it to her. That's what it's meant for, I'm assuming. All right. And with that, uh, we are a little bit over time, so I'm going to end the episode here for right now. Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos, and if you want to see more, click the like button if you like this particular video. And share in comments to bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together, and I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one the only Stray Cat, playing games and trying to help Mordio clear her name, because turns out, A, it's a her, and B, uh, she probably doesn't have anything to do with the thefts like we thought. To be fair, her cloak was a different color than the guy who was in town. So, what the fuck's going on? I don't know. Maybe the thief is trying to act like her to throw us off their scent. I don't know. But there's something going on. Mordio's helping clear her name. And then we'll find out who the thief is. And then we'll fuck them up. But until then... We're traversing ruins that are actually pretty cool for you.